G'day fishos. Today's the day. I'm going to go and have a crack for a Jewfish mull away on our beach worms. So if you follow the channel, you've probably seen me using uh, beach worms a bit lately. I've just learnt how to catch the elusive things. It's bloody, there's an art to it, I can tell you that. So anyways, today I've made up a few rigs here. Got them pre-packaged in a bag. There's uh, five rigs ready to go. I like to, well, I quite enjoy tying rigs sitting, you know, at the table. Um, so what we're going for today, we've got a 4.0 Mustad bait holder. I was um, recommended these by Ned Kelly Tackle in Port Macquarie. So that's who stocks those, and a lot of shops should have them, but if they don't, you know, you're going for a, what, a hook. It's not massive. You can catch, you know, you don't need to overkill. The more weight on your hook, I suppose, it's going to weigh the worm down. Like, you know, you don't want to stick it on a 7 -0. Um, but anyway, so we'll get back to the rig. So that's the hook there, part number 92647NPBLN. So, you know, must add good quality hooks, good value. I've just got 60 pound cheapo leader. Um, what else have we got here? Um, I've got an 80 pound, I think they're called cross line swivels. So they can spin around. You know, you tie your um, uh, leader to the swivel that spins around the main line. So that one at the top there will go to my rod. So I'm going to fish quite light today with my long casting. It's a 12 foot rod with a pen, 7,500 long cast reel. I can cast like about 100 meters with that actual reel. It's a beast. Um, 20 pound suffix 832 braid good quality braid doesn't cost a fortune um, but anyways uh, so I'm running about 50 centimeters of the 60 pound leader onto the side swivel running down to the hook I just showed on the packet and what I'm using for my um, uh, sinker line is just cheap Jarvis Walker 30 pound braid that not braid uh mono they're like five bucks from big w or kmart something like that so um the fish won't be fighting on that cheap mono so there's nothing wrong with it it's just for a, just for the sinker okay so we'll see how we go uh one thing i note is when you so this is a paternoster rig basically so i'm going to use star sinkers so that's quite a big loop but i'd rather the loop be too big than too small. If it's too small, then you can't loop your sinker on. Um, so I'll be using size probably two and maybe even a three star sinker today. Um, if there's no current, you could use a little two ounce snapper lead. But anyway, so you know the drill, you just loop that through the sinker and then back through itself. Um, but one thing to note is with this Paternoster rig, what I find when I make them is to make sure that your um, what do you call it your sinker line see how I've got that knot just past the hook I don't like the idea of it coming up near the hook because it's just one thing that you know that could get more tangled um, you know I doubt it's ever happened but you could probably get that hook loop through the loop or something like that so always make sure that my knot you know is from there to you know a couple of inches past the hook but definitely past the hook what the idea is with um, having the sinker close to the hook you'll get a better casting distance uh, yeah you'll get a better casting distance because you know the weight of the hook and the bait and the sinker you know in a close proximity of each other you know when they're further apart then you get the crazy helicopter effect and you know, it's just, um, you don't get the same casting distance. All right, I'm going to go give this a crack. Um, just thought I'd show you what the rig is today. I don't do a lot of filming when I'm out fishing, but um, I'll take the rod holder so I can do a little video of how I put the worm on. Um, 
and how it looks before I launch it out. I might even take the wadding rod too and have a play with that while I'm there. Might even send out a live wadding. You never know. All right, see how we go. All right, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Happy fishing.